Good morning. Welcome to Math Practice Number 17. Math Practice Number 17. Okay, today we have a fun problem about a dog who has some money. Okay, Tinky has 95 cents, but she only has quarters and dimes. There are two ways for her to do this. What are they? Oh, wow. Interesting. Okay. So how, how would you want to approach a problem like this? What would you like to do? Make a chart. You want to make a chart? Okay. Let's make a chart. Okay. What do you want to be in your chart? Mm -hmm. Number of quarters and number of dimes. Okay. Great. All right. So do you want me to write that? Mm -hmm. Number of quarters and dimes. Okay, so where do you want to start? Well, we could start at one each. Well, the smallest amount of quarters, let's, let's do the quarters she could have. What's the smallest amount of quarters she could one. have? One. Oh, even smaller. Mm. Zero. Zero. She might have zero quarters, so why don't you write that in? Okay, and then what's next she have? Well, she could have one. One, yeah. And what's next? And two. Two. Right. Three. Okay, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Could she have four? That would be a dollar. That would be a dollar. So can she have four? No. No. She can't have four because that would be 100 cents and she only has? 95. 95 cents. Okay, so now, so we, we figured out how many quarters she might have, right? So, and we, the problem says there's two ways for her to do it. So two of these must work and two must not work. So where would you like to start? You could start at one. Well, either start at the beginning or start at the end. Pick either, don't start in the middle. Uh, I'll start at the end. Okay, three. So she has three quarters. So how much money is that? 75 cents. Okay. Can she, can she make 95 cents using only dimes? Yes. She can have two dimes. Oh yeah? How much is two dimes? Two dimes is 20 cents. 20 cents. And 75 cents plus 20 is 95. Okay, awesome. Great job. So write two in there. All right, what do you want to check next? You can check two. Okay, let's do it. How much is two quarters? How much money is two quarters? 50 cents. Okay. Well, you need to get to 95 cents, but you can't do it without three, an odd number of quarters because two quarters is 50 cents. Two quarters is 50 cents. So what's the problem? Why can't we get to 95 cents with dimes? Because if we, if we get up to 90, we can't get to 95 because we only have quarters and dimes. Right. Okay. So cross out two. Wonk, wonk. Doesn't work. Hmm. All right. What about one? How much money is one quarter? 25 cents. Okay. So, we need, from 25 cents, we need seven dimes. Oh yeah? And how much is seven dimes? Seven dimes is 70 cents. 25 plus 70 is 95. Oh, good job. Okay, so write in, write in, so she has, could have seven dimes. Seven. Let's just check with zero quarters. Let's see, can we make zero quarters work? How much money is zero quarters? Zero. Oh, right. Are you sure? Yeah. Zero? Yeah. Zero quarters is zero dollars. All right. Now, can she get to 95 cents with just dimes? Well, no. No? Why not? Because you have to have a, a five at the end so you can get to 95. Okay. And then if you have dimes, you're always going to end with a, with a zero, right? Yeah. It'll be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Exactly. Okay, great. So cross out zero. All right, so we figured it out. You had a very good way of solving this. You made a chart. And when you make a chart, you want to try to make things as easy as possible. So start at the lowest value, which is zero. And go up to the highest value. And we noticed we couldn't have four quarters, right? Because that was already bigger than a dollar. Mm -hmm. And then we had just four things to check. And we checked them and we found two worked, just like the problem said. Mm -hmm. And then we found two didn't work. High five.
Good job on that one. Good job.